Hello guys, welcome back to another PC setup video in 2016. Um, the last time I did a PC setup video was in 2014 and obviously I've, I've moved house since then, I have a completely new setup, everything has changed and I'll try and link everything I can in the description but let's get straight into it. So first, on my left we have the gaming chair which is a Noble Chairs faux leather gaming chair. Now um, I sit on this around 8 to 10 hours a day without fail, like I'm pretty around, more like definitely 6, 6 to 10 hours a day I would say and it's quite a firm gaming chair so if you like the firmer ones you know it doesn't really have much give it's very firm but I like that um, gives your back support and obviously so far no back problems so I think it's doing its job um, next up we have my microphone or one of my microphones phones um, the first microphone that I ever bought um, which is the Samsung CO1U USB microphone. Um, it's just got a really cheap microphone arm, but frankly, that's all you need. Um, I think the Samsung's around fifty pounds, and the arm was about fifteen pounds. It was like seventy pounds overall, around a hundred dollars, I'd say. Um, really good microphone for the price. I actually bought a AT twenty twenty, as you can see up there. Um, and to be honest, the microphone quality is, you know, really not that noticeable, if I'm honest. Um, I also bought a Rode microphone arm, like a proper professional microphone arm. And overall, the AT2020 costs around 120 quid, plus the arm, which is about 60. So the AT20 and the Rode arm was about 180 quid, 180 pounds. Um, however, the Samsung CO1U does just as good a job, so I would say if you're on a budget and you need a good microphone, Samsung CO1U does the job just fine. Moving on to my webcam, which is up there, which is the Logitech C920, the standard streaming microphone. A lot of streamers use the microphone, standard streaming webcam. Like this is like every standard streaming webcam, everyone uses it. I know a lot of people have upgraded to like 4K cameras and stuff, but the way I see it is if, unless you're streaming in 4K, then how is anyone gonna know the difference? Um, obviously 60 FPS would be nice, but the C920 is a good price and it's reliable. I've been using it for like three years and I've never had a problem. Here is my gaming screen or monitor. AOC G2460P, 1080p, one millisecond latency monitor, gaming monitor. Uh, it's 24 inches, I've been using it for about two years, never had a problem so far. Um, and this is where, you know, 144 hertz is the biggest, the biggest change that you can make in a gaming setup. Like, you know, you can change the graphics card, you can change the processor and get higher frames, but you can't see those frames unless you have a monitor that can go up to 144 hertz. So if you wanna, if you if you want to get better at PC gaming, 144 hertz monitor is a must. And the AOC does the job. You know, it's not, it's not the most expensive and it's not the best, but it does the job. Um, down here, we have the lovely Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard as you can see I've got it programmed at the moment to just do a uh, rainbow wave um, in circles great keyboard um, and as you'll notice it's actually very quiet I've got two keyboards I've got two Corsair keyboards I've got the K70 RGB and I've got the Corsair Strafe RGB now I don't know whether you'll be able to hear this but the Strafe is almost completely silent well, it's obviously not completely silent, but it's called the, it's got silent mechanical keys. Whereas the K70, which is over here on my rendering PC, can you hear the difference? A lot louder. 
So over here is the strafe with the quieter keys. Over here is the K70 RGB. Both really good keyboards, but the strafe is great for streaming because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't get picked up by my microphone, which is perfect. Now, moving on to the mouse, we got the Logitech G502, like a massive standard in gaming mice. Really good sensor, really nice grip. I have a palm grip, so I like to hold it with my entire hand and have my the end of my palm resting on the mouse mat. Um, G502 RGB as well, so as you can see, the lights change along with my keyboard, but obviously they're not linked. Um, yeah, I've had two of these mice before. I don't see myself changing too near in the future unless um, a mice with a, a mouse with a similar design comes out that I like. Um, and yeah, just overall, really good mouse. Corsair, Corsair mouse pad. I think this is the MM300 extended. So it's 90 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Goes all the way along under my keyboard as well. Um, and yeah, really nice, really nice mouse pad. Um, that was sent to me by Corsair. So thanks to them for the strafe and the mouse pad. And I believe for my main PC, that's my peripherals. I also have a Netgear um, switch that I use my ethernet ports, but you know, that's just a standard switch. You know, no, nothing too special. Now we've got my laptop, which is a Asus, an Asus GL55 IJW i7-4720HQ GTX 960M graphics card and a, what else, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now I stream off that laptop. When, whatever stream you've seen me do, I stream off that laptop. So I take it everywhere, I take it all over the world. I've never had a problem with it. And yeah, just a really solid laptop um, that I've used for a while. I actually bought this myself um, because I needed a laptop and yeah, it's never let me down so far and I stream off it every day, so pretty decent. And over here, we have the Beast, which is my PC that I built recently. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the motherboard and the graphics card are actually synced together um, to uh, using the Asus Aura program, which is installed on my desktop. And yeah, you can basically change the lighting on the fly. So, you know, the same with all my other stuff, the same with my peripherals, with the keyboards, with the mice. But obviously this is the first time, I think, that a motherboard and graphics card can be synced up so that the lighting is the same. So if I go to the Aura program right here, you'll see that it's on a rainbow. It's on a rainbow color right now. So if I go to the Aura, and I set it to the breathing effect, and I've already got it on the Twitch purple. You can set it right there, and you'll notice that it is now doing the purple Twitch color breathing effect. In future, I believe, actually I believe you can do it now, I believe you can link up all of your Asus peripherals together and have them all synced in the lighting. So yeah, pretty cool. And obviously it's really cool to just change it on the fly. I'm gonna keep it on rainbow for now to match it up with all of the other things I've got going on. But yeah, pretty sweet. Now moving on, I think we covered everything with my PC. Um, i7-6700K, Asus Strix 1080 graphics card, Asus Z170 motherboard, Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz RAM, Corsair H100i, Corsair RM850 power supply, Corsair 750D, and a Western Digital Black Caviar 2 terabyte. The dream. Um, and yeah, that's my PC setup for now. I'm also using the Gamescom 780 headset still. I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade, really. I've had this headset for three years, it's getting dusty now, but it, it just works. 
Like, I wouldn't be still using it if it didn't work. I also bought, for my rendering PC, um, a wireless Gamescom headset. It's okay, you can't really leave the room with it. But again, it does the job for what I need. I just, I use it occasionally when I'm rendering things on this PC here, which is, well, not this PC, the PC's not there, the PC is down there. That would be my rendering PC, um, which is a lot louder than my gaming PC. My gaming PC has an H100i, my rendering PC has a H80i. And that runs to this screen here with the Corsair Scimitar mouse. Corsair sent me this. I was interested to see how it would work when you play games like MMOs and strategy games and stuff. Really nice mouse, 12 buttons on the side. Um, but yeah, great mouse. Still got the Corsair K70 plugged into my rendering PC and just a standard 60 hertz Samsung monitor. Um, because obviously I don't really need 144 hertz when I'm rendering things, because I'll only render them at 60 hertz anyways. But I'm planning on upgrading to get a 144 hertz screen for this, so that I can have two PCs that I can game on and render on one of them anyway. Um, the rendering PC specs are an i7-3930K, a 1080 Founders Edition, uh, EVGA X79 motherboard, 32 gigabytes of RAM, I think it's ballistics, and a 600 watt power supply in a, I can't remember what the case is called actually. I'll have it linked under the stream anyway. But, um, oh it's a Cyclone 2, AeroCool Cyclone 2 is the case that it's sitting in. So it's a pretty edgy case, it's the case that I had in the last video as well. Um, but yeah. Other than that, um, the desk I use is called a Piranha. You can get that on Amazon as well. It's a nice corner desk, even though I have it sitting in the middle of the room, pretty much. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything for my PCs and peripherals. I also have a Samsung Galaxy S6 as well, second hand, because I didn't need a new one. And then, other than that, soundproofing at the back to make sure my voice doesn't bounce around the room too much. And what else we got? And over here, over here, we got a little case for my snapbacks that I'm collecting. So I've got a Face It one, an Asus one, a Battleborn snapback. We got Mr. Battlefield One Man and an Airsoft L96 as well, and obviously down to the left, I've got my uh, my alcohol stash, which I actually never delve into, and it just sits there. But yeah, pretty much, I think that's everything, and that covers all the bases. Um, I've tried to do this all in one take because I thought maybe I'll record over this. I don't know, but oh, and also my uh, I also bought a TV recently. This is a Hisense 50 inch that I watch and watch I watch streams on, I watch TV, I watch um, Netflix and stuff like that. It's got Netflix inbuilt like that. And I also Chromecast like tabs and stuff when me and Ella are chilling out in here. But yeah, basically this has been my setup. I don't think, I probably missed something like really important that I was supposed to like, I'm pretty sure I've missed something important. I've got my Battlefield 1, my Battlefield 1 mouse mat. Look, look, so this is signed by, look at this. I got this in Stockholm, signed by the Battlefield friends, Doom 49, Muggs, Neebs, Drunksy, Westy. I'm sorry if I missed anyone else, but yeah, we got the Battlefield 1 mouse mat as well, which I used to, you know, I use this on my rendering PC, keeps me motivated. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, I think that me or Ella will be doing a house tour at some point, but whether that interests you, you know, you might just want to see my setup. But if a house tour does interest you, uh, we'll try and sort that out in the future. But for now, um, thank you guys for watching and all the links should be in the description, hopefully.
Yeah. Have a good day. Peace.